Have you ever wanted to improve your photo editing by like 100, 1000%? Well, I have the best tool, the best thing that really could. I'm not exaggerating because when I did this, when I moved to this certain thing, it really increased my photo editing and it really helps anyone who's a graphic designer, artist, photographer, anyone in this genre. So what is the best tool ever, no BS, um, that will really help improve your photography editing? Yes, it's actually no BS. There is one ultimate tool that will help you out. And I guarantee you 100%. It'll take you some getting used to, but it would help. So I have right here the tool. You're probably wondering, what the heck is this? Well, this is a tablet. Yeah, it's not an iPad. It's not a Nook or whatever you want. It's actually a tablet. I use a Wacom tablet. I had a smaller version of this. And as I said, I, um, I upgraded to the medium version because it has a little more functionality that can help me in photo editing. So you're probably thinking, well, what can this, this simple black looking thing do? What, why is it better? Well, what the heck is it? Simple enough, a tablet allows you to better handle and to aggress while you're editing your cursor. Now, yes, everyone can do with a mouse absolutely but i like to fine tune things and get things specifically in you know if i want to cut something out if i want to clone something heal something morph something or whatever anything in general you have more control when you're using a tablet because this little screen right here as you see uh, you know in the uh, box this is representing what your computer screen is looking like and you control that through not using a mouse or anything like that they're using a little pen. Now, you know, I'm sure you've used, you know, pens like that for smartphones or something like that with a touch screen. Well, this is kind of the same thing, except you're using it on here. There's more intense versions where you pay like $2,000 for them and your screen would actually come up onto something like this. But this is something simple. It's something more affordable in a range, you know, a couple hundred bucks, something like that. And it's great. As I said, you know, it comes with a tool, you know, all your clicky options are right here. So this is really strong for, sorry, hit the mic. This is really strong for shortcuts and, you know, getting, as I said, precise editing because picture this kind of like a sketch pad type of thing. And if you're editing it, as I said, if you want to get those fine lines, if you really need to go in there, get the fine strands of hair that Photoshop or Lightroom's not letting you get out. If you're trying to do like auto select, quick select, or even if you're trying to do some of the tools, it's not getting what you need. This little thing, you know, pressing on here can do that because this is a pressure sensitive pen uh, on a tablet. I'm not, I'm not doing a product review here. I'm just telling you that using a tablet can help out your editing a lot because you can get a lot more precise with it. So even if you want to look into a smaller one, you can get ones for under hundred dollars that do similar things, not as much, um, that they can really help. As I said, you just by you pressing on here and on the screen, you will actually see that the harder you press the, just like you would writing, the more pressure you're putting on, the darker the, your lines are, if you're, especially if you want to draw something, write something. So this can really help out a ton of users. And there's special things in here, special controls you can put in on a bigger tablet. Um, with something like this. Uh, there's shortcuts you could put in if you want to add certain, uh, you know, things that you always go to, paint selection, something like that. You can put, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six different functions that I can use in here and it's very easy to use as well. Boom, boom, boom. You have the tools that you always need. And the cool thing about uh, something like this is easy maneuvering. So, you know, a lot of people get confused when they first pick these up or like, well, how do you use it? Do you have to use a mouse? You actually don't have to use a mouse. You could just hover your pen over top of the uh, the tablet and your cursor will move. But when you point down, you know, you have something right here. It's as simple as if you want to erase something, boom, you hit the eraser up top on the pen and, um, you know, you can erase on screen. You can switch it on and off. So this is really just showing you that there is something out there that can actually help your photo editing and you can get extremely precise as you want. Once again, this isn't a review about, you know, a Wacom tablet or anything like that. I'm just telling you which one I use. I use the, it was at the iTunes or the Intuos 5 Touch. Um, cause I like it. It's the medium version. As I said, I just mainly upgraded to this because I wanted something bigger and I wanted something that's a little more customizable. So I just want to let you guys know there's tablets out there that you can use. I'm sure some of you've heard of it, but a lot of you may not have. And as I said, they're very easy to use. You can move around like this on your screen. Um, you know, just stay within your box. You can customize some things and it's as simple as your click options, like your mouse are right on the pen, uh, here. So something like this, extremely easy to use, uh, very easy to set up. You pop it a disc and bam.
Eric Ross to the guy with the eye. Thank you for watching this video. I know this was very quick. I know it was very simple, but it's true. Something like this, a quick tablet, will help your editing. As I said, you can get very precise with it, and especially if you're into animation, uh, you know, into more than just photography as well. This can do a lot of things for you, especially if you want to do custom text, if you want to do some things in albums. You can trace, you can do whatever you want with something like this, and it will help, I promise you, 100%. If you have any questions or comments, or if, even if you own some, tell me what you use them for. Write them down in the comments below. That's all I got. Keep an eye out.